Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon Vitro here, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to pay off your credit card debt as quickly as you possibly can. And I wanted to make this video because I know how much of a burden this can be, trying to pay off credit cards and having this debt just weighing down on you. Um, and so I understand where you're at if you're dealing with this, and I wanna let you know it is totally possible to get out of that situation and to pay this off. And I'm gonna tell you what I think is the best thing to do if you have credit card debt and how I would personally go about getting rid of it. So first I just wanna say that I think it's really good that you're watching this video. It shows first of all that you're interested in the first place just that you want to get rid of this debt. And so just by watching this video, it shows me that you are actually committed to this and you actually want to move forward with paying off your credit card debt and moving away from all that stress. So I think the best thing you can do to make it less stressful is to break it down into different steps and by doing that, um, you know, it's hard if you look at a big number and you're like, how am I gonna pay that? But if you look at it step by step, it's gonna be a lot easier to tackle one step at a time. And that's all it takes is one step at a time and you can reach the final step in no time. So the first thing that I think you should do is smash the like button. Um, that really helps out the channel and that helps me out so much. And the first thing that I actually want you to know is that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not some professional that's teaching you these things. Um, it's just me and I'm just telling you my opinions and what I would personally do in this situation and, and what I personally think the best thing that you can do to pay off credit card debt is. So our goal in this video is to pay it off as quickly as possible and to be able to do that we have to lay some ground rules. So rule number one is stop using your credit card for any new purchases. So you already have credit card debt, don't use your credit card anymore. Um, from now on we're going to do something else. Um, so do not use your credit card as your form of payments. You know, if you're going to the store, don't bring your credit card. If you're doing anything where you have to pay for stuff, don't use your credit card. That's our first rule. Rule number two is going to be stop spending money. Um, so, you know, rule number one is don't spend money on the credit card. And rule number two is just try to stop spending money altogether. Now, obviously, you're always going to have expenses in life. But when it comes to paying off your credit cards, you want to minimize your expenses as much as possible. So you have to make sure you're only spending money on absolute necessities and that things that you want but don't need, you're not spending any money on that. For example, if you get your coffee at Starbucks, don't go to Starbucks anymore. Instead, make your coffee at home. You can make a cup of coffee for like 20 cents and drink that. It's still gonna give you the caffeine boost. You're still gonna be able to wake up in the morning and go to work. Um, and it's gonna save you time. You don't have to stop at Starbucks. And it's gonna save you like three to $7 every single day. And so that's three to $7 a day that you can put right towards paying off your credit cards. So rule number two is to stop spending money and even things that you have to spend money on, try to make it so that you spend less money on them. So when you're at the grocery store, try to buy the cheaper option. Um, instead of paying for Starbucks coffee, make coffee at home. Things like that where you're lowering your expenses and any extra money that you have left over because of that, you're able to pay off your credit cards with. Okay, so rule number three is gonna be make as much money as you possibly can. Now this one can be a little harder if you don't have different options, but you can do things like ask your boss if you can take up extra shifts, you know, try to work an extra shift per week, try to work a weekend, do things like this, maybe pick up a separate job that you work on weekends. Maybe pick up a second job if you're working part-time. Things like this where you can make a little extra money that you can put towards your credit cards. And this is just gonna help you pay them off a little bit faster. Now, step number four is to balance a budget and actually pay attention to how much money you're making and how much you're spending. And what I recommend for this is using mint.com or you can get the app on your phone, um, Mint. And basically what this is gonna allow you to do, you plug in all your uh, bank account information and your credit cards and it's gonna show you exactly how much money you're making every week, exactly how much money you're spending. It shows you what you're spending money on, what different categories, and it can really help you see that I'm spending $10 a day getting these little things that I don't need, um, so I'm gonna stop doing that. Now I have $10 a day I can put towards my credit cards. So if you're looking to actually really work on these things and pay attention to your budget, I do think that's like one of the best ways to go. Um, I know there's a lot of different apps out there nowadays, but if you go with Mint, you're, you know, you're gonna be fine and it's absolutely free. Like it doesn't cost any money, so. And so that's why I personally use it. Now rule number five is to put every penny that you have towards your credit cards. So any money that you're not spending, save it and put it right towards paying off your credit cards as soon as you possibly can. Okay, so once you've started spending less and making more money, 
then the next step is just to start paying off your credit cards. Um, and I know it's challenging, but what I think is a good thing to recommend to you would be every time you get a paycheck, instantly put some money from that paycheck, a big portion of it, right to paying off your credit cards. And then you can use the rest of it for spending money or whatever you need to use it for. But take a big chunk of it at first and put that right towards your credit cards. And that way every week or every two weeks, whenever you get paid, at least some money multiple times per month is paying off those credit cards. And another thing you can do from here is decide how much money you're able to put towards your credit cards. How much money do you have coming in and then how much money do you have in expenses that you have to pay that are absolutely necessities that you cannot live without. So let's say you have $5,000 in credit card debt and so now you have $500 left over every month that you can put towards your credit card. And you start doing that every single month. It's gonna take 10 months to pay off that credit card. And maybe you're really tight on your budget, you know, and you're doing really good and you get it paid off in 10 months. After that, now you're used to living off of less money per month and now your credit card's paid off and now you have $500 every single month over that you can save or invest it or do whatever you want with it because now you know how to budget, you have extra money left over every month and that's a really great feeling to have extra money and be able to spend it on what you want um, and be able to save it up and not have to worry about going in credit card debt again. The big thing here is just making sure you're putting as much as you possibly can towards your credit card every single month and actually every time you get paid. And so, I, and so I have a few quick tips that I would recommend that I think would really help to pay them off a little bit quicker. So the first thing is a little outside the box. Think about this, maybe get a new roommate. So if you're living on your own or maybe you have one roommate, maybe get another roommate, you know, and you tell them you need a certain amount of money every month. And so once you get that money, you can either put it towards your credit cards or put it towards paying for the house or the apartment that you're in. So you're helping pay off rent. Now you have to pay less for rent and you can put that extra money you're saving towards paying off your credit card. Quick tip number two is gonna be ask for money from a friend. Now you don't just wanna ask for a handout, but what I would say is if your friend is gonna give you money interest free, then ask them for a little bit of money and put it towards your credit cards because your credit card company is gonna charge you interest. And so you're actually paying them fees and interest every single month. Whereas if you borrow money from a friend, pay it off as quickly as possible. You still have to pay your friend back, of course, but at least when you're paying your friend back, you're not gonna be paying them interest and, and all these other added payments and fees. At least you're getting out of those fees and it's gonna save you a little bit of money in the long run. And number three is you might have to sacrifice some relaxation time. Um, things like when you're watching TV, relaxing, you're on your phone watching, you're on your phone doing Instagram and stuff. Maybe spend a little bit of that time not doing that stuff and instead you're working towards making some extra money to pay off your credit cards. You could see if your boss needs an extra set of hands or if, or maybe you could start mowing lawns for people. Or you could do something like get a weekend job, you know, even something at Walmart or a job like that where you're making a little extra money, just stuff that you can put right towards your credit card. Because really, the sooner you get it paid off, the sooner you don't have to worry about paying fees to these credit card companies, and the sooner you can be free of debt. And that's a really good feeling that I hope you guys are able to get to, and I actually know you guys are able to do it. So if you follow everything I said in this video, it'll be no time before you get your credit cards paid off. It'll be no time before you get your credit cards paid off. And all you have to do is just save as much as you can, stop spending money on stuff you don't need, put that money towards your credit cards, and try to make as much money as you possibly can until those credit cards are paid off. Now, I really hope this video did help you out, and I hope you're able to take something away from this video and be able to pay off your credit cards with some information that you learned here. And if you do, leave a comment and let me know that you do that. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out so much. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can subscribe. And if you wanna learn more about money and credit cards and um, how to make money online, stuff like that, um, subscribe to the channel and go watch some more of my videos and I'll see you guys there.